What's going on guys, JetXC here, and we're doing another Should You Pull for Brown Dust 2. We've got the patch coming tonight. I'll be going live, going over the new updates. Now, let's just get right into it. We got Angel of Destruction, Therese, and Dalvi. Should you pull? So, Therese is first. Angel of Destruction, Therese at plus zero is skill points used is, is two. Cool down three turns. The allies SP increases by three points. Additionally, deals one physical damage to the enemy and pushes them back two squares. When a pushed enemy collides with another enemy, physical damage equal to 50% of the pushed enemy's max HP is inflicted to the collided enemy. Additionally, inflicts physical damage equal to 75% of attack each turn to the enemies for six turns. Now, based off of that description alone, the SP increased by three points, it being two SP to cast, and also the 50% um, when you push back on client enemies, I think it's worth it. I think it's at least worth one copy. Um, mostly for PvE, PvP is super situational, but for PvE, I, I would say, especially in an elemental advantage, I would say it's for sure worth it. Um, now, plus one, you do get the upgrade of, instead of 75%, it's 125. If you can get it up to here, I would say go for it. But at minimum, I think plus zero is just fine. Um, no need to go to plus three to get the SP cooldown to one. I mean, if you really think you can, then that's on you. But again, I would say at minimum, this skin is just one, one copy plus zero. You get the benefit of colliding the enemies by getting knocked back. And you get the extra 75% physical damage for six turns. And of course, the increased points, uh, SP points. And again, this is this uh, is on banner because of the new kill, uh, well, kill skill cutscene coming up. So I would say no matter what, just for the skill cutscene, get a copy. Now, again, if you can get plus one, go for it. Okay. So next, next we have Dalvi, one of my favorite magic users. Um, so we have Bright Moon Dalvi. <clears throat> So, at plus 5, or excuse me, at plus 0, you have skill points of 5. Transforms by releasing the power of the Nine Tails for 6 turns. During transformation, the skill can be used without SP consumption or cool time restrictions. This effect is not affected by removal or of beneficial effects. Additionally, attacks the enemy twice. Each attack deals magic damage equal to 160% of magic damage. Okay. Right off bat. 100% get a copy. Now, I I have this skin at plus five. I use, again, I, I've told you guys in past videos, I have a full magic team. I use Dalvi all the time for PvE content and for PvE content. I use her for both. She's fantastic in both. The reason why she's so fantastic is what it says here. The skill can be used without SP consumption afterwards for six turns. Uh... No cooldown restrictions, and you cannot, the effect is not affected by removal or beneficial effects. Guys, this skill is 100% worth it. Um, and not only that, but she will be getting a free skin, probably during the anniversary, because she was voted as the number one, like, uh, basically favorite character. And at the beginning, it was Sylvia, but people were like, well, Sylvia's got, like, three costumes, so everybody vote Dalvi so she can get a second one. So Dalvi is getting a second costume. So 100% get this so you can add it on to the new costume coming up. Now, what grade should you get it? Plus one, plus two, three, four, five. I'm going to be honest, just for the skill cooldown, get it at plus four or excuse me, plus one. Um, the jump from 160 to 185 isn't that big of a deal. Plus three is really where it gets to be a big, big deal here because it goes from 185 to 230. Um, now, if you really want a crazy magic damage user that has that skill where you can use it multiple times without SP consumption, I would say go for it, risk it all, and go plus five because you additionally get an energy guard equal to 150% of your magic attack, and that takes damage instead of your HP for two turns, all right? So that gives her a little bit of survivability. Plus, magic damage is equal to 300% of magic attack. So, okay. Free to play casuals, if you can, get her to plus one. If you really are looking for a character to dive deep in, 
this is the character to dive deep in. I've done it. I have not regretted getting her plus five at all. She is a great, she is an S tier character, 100%. Um, so if you're willing to dive in deep, go plus five, otherwise plus one. So let's review. Dalvi, plus one at least. Therese, just get one copy, plus zero. Um, if you can afford it, plus one just for that extra damage jump right there. Um, other than that, I think plus zero is just fine. So overall, guys, definitely pull for both. Um, both of them have a great skill cutscene. I would say Dalvi is more of a priority than Therese. Um, so if anything, pull for Dalvi. Therese, again, just one copy, if anything. All right, guys, if you got any questions, let me know in the comments. I'm out.